Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Erica and I would love to have you stick around. So I'm already uh, like primed with my skincare done, sunscreen on, um, oils, all that. But I'm actually going to take even more of this Glossier Future Dew. This is my favorite and I'm going to take another pump because I am so dry. And just really focus it around my um, my lower half of my face and putting on my lips my hands are clean <laughs> putting on my lips because they are so dry oh my gosh Oof. Ugh, all right now I am just going to go in with a color corrector as always this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, conceal and correct like under eye perfect or whatever um, but yeah we're just gonna use this for my dark dark circles and I don't use too much of it just because I feel like it really does cake up under my concealer and my circles are so dark that I'd have to probably use a lot but it does enough for me I'm just gonna move my, my mirror a little bit Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to, on the bottom half of my face, use this Herborian CC Red Correct. Focus, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I just use this on the bottom half um, lately where all my redness is. Squeeze a little, just like a pea. Put that on. Like, look at how much better that looks. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So this doesn't like cover it by any means, but my face is so much like, oh, so much less like angry looking. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take my Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer. I'm just gonna put this a little bit under my eyes and then on um, my eyelids as well. in with these, these, this Tower 28 Braun Zeno. I have the shade West Coast and I love this. It's just like sheer glossy goodness. Oh my gosh. Ow! Son of a bitch. It's really, it's really good though. Hard to open, but really good. I am just going to kind of take a little, my little sponge here and dip in there and we will just make it a little closer. Dip in and put this on my cheeks. And I am taking my Phytosurgeons blush in the shade Swelter. Now this is a stunning product. The shade itself, beautiful. And this can be worn like super built up, like a really intense blush or really sheared out and natural, which is like how I typically like to wear it. Um, but I might build it up just a tiny bit today because I think we're gonna do some faux freckles. So. Yeah, you literally need a dab. That might even be too much, so. Flush, and this will kind of like settle down a little bit won't be quite as bright but I love it and I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit and put it on my nose just a little bit so like I said I kind of want that freckle look so now I'm gonna take actually this uh, double-ended eyeliner from Tarte their tardiest liner 
One side is a felt tip and the other side is a pencil. So we are gonna use the felt tip side. Let me just zoom you in just a bit. Whoa, let me just, kinda still getting used to this. Oh. Okay, <laughs> great, nice and close. Yeah, you can see how the skin looks. Still see all my acne, dryness, all that jazz, but that's okay. All right. So all I do is I kind of just dot it around just randomly and then tap it out. pretty good pretty natural I'm actually going to use another phytosurgeons product this is their flash for let <laughs> Flash Fluorescence Eyeshadow in Potent Petal. It, just, it is beautiful. This is such a pretty, like, sheen. Oh, it looks amazing. But first, I just want to put down a little bit of shadow on my crease, so we will do that. So let me just zoom in. Oh. I'm using my coconuts palette. I'm just gonna take probably lovely bunch. a little bit of color in my crease that's all I wanted so. now for the star of the show the potent petal and just oh these are just so creamy Come on. <laughs> there we go all right So beautiful. love these shadows also once they set down they don't budge so this is something that if like with the hotter months like sweating you're in a, a hotter more humid climate that's <laughs> these shadows are amazing this is not going to move it's this beautiful peachy everyday shade um it just looks like glossy on my lids i love it all right and i'm just gonna take that same blending brush and just blend out the edges just in case i mean these are pretty foolproof, but we'll just do it. Wow. Yep. Perfection. I'm just going to take this uh, Becca Weekend uh, Lip Definer and my Merit Tinted Lip Oil in 
au naturel. All right, guys, that is everything for this fresh spring makeup look. I hope you liked it. I had fun doing it. This is like definitely my type of makeup. I feel good. I feel confident. My skin isn't screaming from being like overly dry. It looks good in person. And yeah, I feel good wearing it. And this is definitely a look that I will continue to wear uh, during this these like hotter spring and summer months. So please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next. If there's any brands you're interested that you want me to review, just anything. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.